All right, welcome back, everybody. We are officially halfway through Trade Wars month. We are. And uh, so far, what do you think here? Like, how how is it going for us? It's a little bit, to be honest, it's not an easy challenge. You know what? We're the dumbasses that put out the challenge. <laughs> We're going to do something cool, something different. We're going to do a challenge. We're going to challenge somebody to what we're going to call is Trade Wars. Trade Wars 2021. So, let's get on with the rules before we tell everybody who we're going to challenge you. Okay. The rules are, you have an entire month and $20 to get as much value as you can. Meaning, you start with a $20 bill. Then, you trade for something game related. Well, that's the thing. It pushes you to try harder, to, yeah. to try to find those deals, which is something we admittedly weren't good at. We're not good at. We're no. not good at, but we've gotten better at it. Yes. And I feel like we've done enough so far that we're definitely going to give Pac-Man a run for his money. The footage you're about to see is all of our trades, our experiences, the good, the bad and the ugly. <laughs> hey guys, it's May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. I'm getting ready to head into the parlor with a stack of PS3 games to trade. I know what you're thinking, you don't get your best value on trading in for cash. However, We've got a month to do this, so I don't have time to try to resell everything online. I gotta flip these as fast as I can. I will give you guys an update when I come back. We're gonna call this next video Life Lessons because I think it's important to share the good with the bad. I made a bad trade today and nothing against the buyer because it's on me to check it's on me to check every game i'm buying which i did but i was more checking for manuals i was checking for complete in box shows up in price charting you know it's a 25 dollars game i think that's what it was it's online only and they haven't supported this game for a while from what i was told at the parlor so they couldn't take it so, something I was banking on to give me good value has no value. Also, another game that I was hoping to get decent value on, Sonic the Hedgehog, is actually Gran Turismo. <laughs> I opened the case, I saw a blue disc, I did not read it. And then this one is cracked. So they couldn't take it. It wasn't a terribly expensive game. It wasn't going to get me a lot of value. So it is what it is. What did happen today was my $30 investment on 12 games yielded me $30. I, this was a make work project today. I spent an hour of running around, going to the pawn shop to trade up to nothing. So I basically did an equal trade and I'm sitting at the same amount as I started the day. So it's a life lesson. Oh, we're out and about again today. Another dreary day in Moncton. It's just crap weather, so. <laughs> Yard sales are never gonna start at this rate. We have not had a whole lot of success this week. Also, show you guys some screenshots of things I just missed out on. I missed out on an Xbox lot today, Xbox 360, uh, game, the console, 36 games, two controllers for 50 bucks. I know I could have made some good trade value on that, but I saw the ad 45 minutes in and it was sold. So, they just go so fast. Other than that, we're just driving around, going to our places. There's not a whole lot this week, but I am working on my painting. So 
maybe that'll make up for it. Hope so. Hope so. So we just stopped and picked up four games, but you know what? We're gonna keep two of them. So we're probably gonna break even on this. Yes, and he's like, I'm sure I have that one, and I checked our app, and we picked it up last week too. Show, show, show people. I'm sure I have. Yeah, so we picked that. We picked one of these up last week and got good trade value on it, but we're gonna pick it up again, and Scott says he has it. And I know he doesn't. I just checked our app. And uh, we're going to also keep Spy Hunter. It's not worth a whole lot. So, but it's something we can add to our Xbox collection. And the ones we're gonna trade in is Happy Feet 2, which oddly enough is like worth 15 bucks Canadian. So if we can get half our value on that, this is worth seven. So we think we'll get our 10 bucks back on those two games. Sure, we're not doing anything for the, the video or the challenge this month, but yeah, I want to keep those two games. We have a stack of games we're going to trade in for ourselves, but uh, what we're really here for is that we're going to go to... We're going thrifting. We're going to go. You can probably see it through the blurry, rainy crappiness that it is our weather. We're going to go to Salvation Army Thrift Store and see if they have some overpriced games, which they probably do. We don't have the option of like walking into a value village and- You guys seen that? Every video I've taken yeah. at Value Village highlights that beautifully. The, yeah, here in New Brunswick for some reason, every thrift store, like your Salvation Armies and your Value Villages and all that, they have glass cases for their games. Yeah. I'm not walking up on a shelf and the no. one time we did find games on a shelf, there were a bunch of Wii games. They had priced at two ninety nine, and we were checking values, and they were valued at five bucks. Yeah, so there is no value there. There's no value so there. Everything else was in the class case. Exactly. No. Exactly. Some of them are actually priced more. Oh, I than know. Market value. It's crazy. Yeah. It's the most foolish thing. Yeah. Hey guys, it's nine a.m. on a Sunday morning. It's too early. It's too early. <laughs> Scott literally just woke up and I was like, I just scored a deal on Kijiji. And actually it's cross posted to Facebook Marketplace, so I'm lucky I got it when I did. It was 14 minutes in. It's a Wii and a bunch of stuff with it for 60 bucks. I really think I can make some good trade value on that. So luckily I got on it when I did because I think it would have sold. As you can see, another dreary day in Moncton, but what I want to say is that you'll notice the ad was priced at $75. Don't be afraid to make an offer. Most times, unless you're lowballing, people that are selling stuff understand that you're probably going to make your own offer and most times are pretty accommodating. So I was able to pick up this lot for 60 bucks. It's Saturday and we are on a little bit of a road trip heading to Oromocto. We've been there before. You've seen it in our Friderton video, but we're heading back to New to You to see if we can find some hidden gems. And luckily for us, there was a Frenchie's right across the road from New to You. So let's head into Frenchie's and see if they have anything worth any value. Oh, I know what you're thinking. Def Jam. Definitely a pickup. Even if it's not complete, it's worth a lot. And it's not even Def Jam. We stopped on a whim to use the, we, no, we didn't even we stop, stop on a whim. whim. You we had that went, weak bladder. Yes, but well, we stopped to use the bathroom and there was games and we didn't know if they were rent or for Just sale. mom and pop gas station. Yeah, there. Schulten's yeah. convenience in Oromocto. So unfortunately, we're not willing to risk some of them. We'll show you guys them in a, a little bit. A lot of them are going in my collection. $10 game and it's worth 80. So Scott's <laughs> like, I'm not even risking it. Scott, show me the game you just got. They're two for 20. And a bunch of them are like $40, $50 games. That was a cheap one. That's a $40 game. Those ones I could honestly put back because they're not worth as much. <laughs> Just another exciting day of my phone trying to kill us. Took us to on the highway, got us off the highway, put us back on the highway. I guarantee you this value village is going to have $10 games that 
you, uh, they want 15 for. Because that's just how that works. If it takes a long time to get here and you can't find it, there's going to be nothing. I'd say I told you so, but I'd only be saying it to myself. All the games on this shelf are overpriced and not worth any value, so we left them right there. I already feel like we're not going to get any deals. <laughs> You know what would have been smart? Sharing these gems of knowledge with myself before we made the 20 minute trip into Fredericton from Aromacto because all this thrift store had was overpriced games in a glass shelf and Mario Kart was $5 more than price charting value. I just, just don't get it. Drove to Fredericton and Aromacto today and we got all these games right here. This was from a pickup earlier in the week. Uh, Paperboy 2 is got some damage on the label, but it was a good lot price. And uh, yeah, super excited about these. Uh, Shadow of the Damned we already had, so that was great. Um, yeah, hoping we get some trade value here. I think there's decent trade value. Now we could continue to try to sell these on our own, but as it is, we would like to get a good sum of money up and going so that we can make those final purchases and maybe really make some bank. You know what seems to happen every time we game hunt? You stop the beer. <laughs> every time. This time for your drinking pleasure, a peach sour and something devil's something something. It's 7%. Devil's half. Devil's half. My half brother devil. <laughs> yeah. This beer. And then we were finally able to pick up some Skittles sour. Taste the rain, bro. Taste Drink those tonight on the live stream. Oh yeah. That's it for now, and that wraps up another couple weeks of game hunting on this very exciting journey of Trade Wars. Keep watching as I will have a video out sometime soon with a time lapse of my Bowser painting and all the exciting information leading up to the finale. You guys are not going to want to miss this, and we also are going to nominate two channels to take on the next journey of Trade Wars. Thanks guys and uh, continue to watch. We'll keep you updated on the live stream and we'll be putting out some sort of voting option towards the end of the month yep. so you guys can make the final decision on who wins the first episode of Trade Wars. Yep.